try to keep track of that. I want to see this kickoff. Mick, let's go. Uh, what a game we have here to start the round of 64. Single elimination begins today. And if you tuned in yesterday, <laughs> well, you sort of you sort of got treated to well, uh, some high scoring affairs, a, a lot of blowouts. But that's what group play. It, it's all about here at an open tournament. We're now down to the best players here in the round of 64. What a matchup we have to start off this one. Pretty Boy and Bookman Smart, a.k.a. Vinny Valvano. RG, I know this was this was basically one of the big reasons why you came down here to DreamHack Dallas. Absolutely. Once once Vinny and Minnie Mike told me that they were going to be here, I, I already wanted to be a part of it, but that's when I knew I had to be a part of it. The return of Phenomenon is just such a big deal for us old school type of players. When I tell you this young man inspired so many Madden players over the years because his ability to fight through his adversity, his blatant physical disadvantage that he has to go through, and to be able to still compete at the highest level, it's what you love about esports and it's yeah. the most beautiful thing about esports, and Vinny represents that better than anyone. And it's going to be Vinny representing the Kansas City Chiefs, running the ball on first there down. He goes. Look at Benson. He's going to get near the first down marker. I think he got over the line. They're going to call him just short. I think we got 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 some questionable referee. Might be have the replacement refs out there. Anybody remember those? Anybody? Yeah, it, it, for those that want a deeper insight. Then he drops back. Oh, that's a big Good sack defense. for Twan on second and inches. But real quick, for those that want additional insight on Vinny to follow his story and see what he went through, just simply go on to YouTube, type in Vinny Valvano Madden, and you'll see a nice little eight-minute clip from a decade ago that just kind of documented his story and what he'd been through. I highly recommend you go and watch that. It's powerful stuff. Third down here for Vinny oh, and the pressure, oh, the pressure from Pretty Boy getting in the backfield. He's already dancing. As Tack McKinley, second sack of the game. Looks like it's going to force Vinny into a punt. It all started with that second and inches call. Yeah. Sometimes you got to pick up that first down and give yourself another shot at it. He got a little uh, ahead of himself, looks to take it to the air. Turns some inches, turn into third and whatever, third and whatever turns into you, you know, fourth. You know, Vinny, will any of the, the emotion, the, the dancing from Pretty Boy, the capping, will that get in his head at all, or is he straight into the game? He doesn't worry about what's going on around him. It could. It, it, it very well could. Twan is one of the best trash talkers. Oh, no, he messed up the ball. What do we get? I think it's Twan's ball. Twan's ball still. That looked strange. Yes, it did. But fortunate for Twan, he gets it. But yeah, Twan is one of the best trash talkers. He can get into almost anybody's head. So that's additional adversity Vinny's going to have to fight through in this game. And going back to your point, Rico, when he went for it on that second and in inches, that's a great time for those watching to take a shot because your opponent is expecting the run. But the number one rule in that situation, you can't take a sack. Now first and 10 for Antoine Pretty Boy Williams. He's going to pick up a first down on the ground. Devontae Freeman. Rico, we saw the Atlanta Falcons all day yesterday. This is a tough team to play against. Yeah, they have so many weapons. When they can run the ball, and the worst feeling in Madden is when you can't stop the run. You're almost helpless. And then you still got to wait, make sure Julio doesn't take the top off your defense. These are two old-school Madden players. They're going to try to establish that run early. What a way to kick off the round of 64 here at DreamHack Dallas. So happy to have you along with us. Nick Mazesco, RG Rico Williams, game number one of the round of 64. We're going to take you all the way down to the round of eight tomorrow, a $25,000 prize pool being handed out. A phenomenal weekend of Madden here on what, what are, are we? Are we officially? Is it? Yes, it's the first day of June. We got Madden football in June. He's got a man wide open. That's Julio Jones. You can't leave him open. 20, 15, 10, 5. Julio, MG, into the end zone. And if I didn't just say that, when you get so concerned about trying to stop the run and figuring it away, you can't allow Julio to take the top off your defense, and defense is topless right now. Man, this is going to be tough for Vinny. This is a tall mountain to climb. He already fights through so much adversity. but then Look at Vinny's one. talking to him. I'm telling you, Nick, for Tuan to get a stop early and to score that quick, you see him dancing around, Tuan animated out of his seat. This is going to be a tough, tough task for Vinny. This is a huge drive coming up. Tuan's still talking. Look at him. He's still going, man. He can't stop. He won't stop. But the question is, will he get a stop again? I'm just saying, 
the difference between Pretty Boy Williams and Miley Cyrus. It's I, I almost can't tell them apart. <laughs> he can't stop. He won't stop. Well, it's definitely a party in the USA right now. But you got to make sure that you don't get too on top of your game. Like he's swagging and stuff like that. Now you can't underestimate Vinny. You got to make sure you still stay locked in and focused because as you saw for that first run, he does have some plays and he can move the ball. Uh, I'll tell you, Tuan is going to be focused. This is a guy who's, yeah. who's Vinny. This is a guy who has tasted what it's like to be on the top of, you know, the Madden community. He was a tier one type player back in the day. And, he, you know, he's pretty much, if you're going to be honest, been irrelevant for almost the past decade, we're close to. So he has been dying to get back onto the scene and really make some noise. And he's looking at this as his opportunity to do so. So you know he's not going to hold anything back. First down and 10 for Vinny and the Kansas City Chiefs. Patty Mahomes at the helm. Trips tight end formation. Got Travis Kelsey on the right side of that line. He's going to run it with Williams. There you go, Vincent. What a run. There you go, oh, oh, run. He's going to pick up a spin. first down. If he doesn't spin, he's still running. And a lot of players do that. I've seen that all year. Everyone has fallen in love with that spin move. It's obviously very effective, but then you'll even see good players do it when it's completely unnecessary and it is sometimes a detriment to the yards you could have gained had you just stayed on your horse. Mahomes looking to pass. Got to get rid of it. Wow, he's oh, had three pass yeah. attempts. It's been three sacks for Pretty Boy Williams and the defense. RG, how much for, for Vinny playing up on the main stage, how much motivation is he getting from his family who's here today? Oh, absolutely. He's got his mother, Mrs. Valvano here, his brother, Minnie Mike, Mike rooting him on, I'm sure. Papa Valvano's back at home watching on the stream. I mean, this is a big deal for a lot of us who's known Vinny for a long time. Here we go, right underneath. Big he used, hit. He used to be a staple at the Madden Challenge events, and he would, I'm telling you, you'd show up and you would think there's no way this guy's going to do work. He doesn't even have fingers, and he's at a clear disadvantage, and he would rut routinely make top 16, top 8, and these are fields of about two to 300 people. Rico remembers. No, you're so the short. They were 5'12 back then. Every single time they were 5'12, and there was nobody that he couldn't be. Third and long. Tall task for Vinny. Drop that him back. He's there. gonna get it off over the middle. Good defense. It's gonna force another fourth down. Probably a punt from Vinny. I was talking to a lot of the guys out in the pods asking about this game because everybody's very interested here at DreamHack Dallas to watch it. And you didn't find a single person who was rooting against Vinny. It's hard to, to not root for, for Vinny Valvano, but a lot of people, I was talking to VTech. He said, it is great to see Pretty Boy here on the main stage yes. getting back into Madden. He is great for the game of Madden. Yeah, this is just a great story all around. Twan's story, obviously phenomenal. Vinny's story, nothing short of a miracle. He's going for it here on 4th and 16. I don't know about this, Vin. Vin, I don't know about here this. Here's a 17-yard like play. You don't come here. I don't fourth, like it. I don't like it. Buck Better 46. fake snap. Takes the delay of game. He's going to punt. Well, look at Andy Reid argue that. The clocks doesn't say zero yet. Hey, come on, how can you call that? What is he arguing? We know Andy Reid's not known for his clock management no, to begin no. with. <laughs> Almost as good at clock management as Donovan McNabb. All I know is Twan is getting an insane amount of pressure with that four-man rush. Anytime Vinny passes the ball, and usually what that means is your opponent is on that aggressive pass rush. So if you're Vin, you got to make sure you fake snapping try to catch those guys off sides. You got to fake snap. You got to get the ball out of, out of your hands quickly. He's looking for 15, 20 yard routes down the field. Got to start taking the five yard routes. The punt is away. This time it's actually caught by Tevin Good Coleman. Work. Oh man, well, look at well, Juan. Stutter step Getting past old the school. 40. Good hit by Vin. Speaking of old school stick work, D. Croft is in this field and I cannot wait to get in one of his games. He has brought back a feeling that I haven't seen in Madden since yeah. Young Guns. It the funny thing about Decroft is the first time we saw him at the Seahawks Club Championship, it was very apparent that there was something special about his stick work that really stuck out to you. But then that was the expectation, but he just continued to deliver because he's kept releasing these highlight videos and you would see that his stick work really was that consistent. So absolutely, Rico, hopefully we get a chance to see Decroft display some of that amazing stick work later on stream. First down and 10. 
Devontae Freeman. Hand off up the middle. That's Devontae Freeman. He'll pick up four. That's the thing. Vince, one big play away from getting himself back in this ball game. Twan's talking. He's animated. He's bobbing his head. But if you're Vin, all you got to do is punch him in the mouth one time, force one of those fumbles, get yourself back in ball game. 7 nothing. Pretty boy on top. And with the ball at midfield. Gun, gun, gun. Out of that single back. We saw this yesterday. Pick up, looks like a first down at the 43 yard line. See, we saw that single back trips to the left side at the end of yesterday. And apparently, Pretty Boy, uh, like what he saw, he's going to pull it out here in the round of 64. Yeah, Twan's been running that single back trio all tournament. And I love that strategy. He is just giving these players a blatant look that they haven't had to deal with all year long. All these guys are gonna be very familiar with gun trips tight end, gun bunch, et cetera. But I'm sh pretty sure almost nobody has a lot of repetition practicing against this single back trio formation. And I think that's working to Pretty Boy's advantage. So now him being on this big stage and everybody getting the chance to take a look at it, it'll be interesting if he moves on to beats Vinny, how quickly the next opponent adapts. The, pr the problem is I don't know how much attention people can pay to it. Most most people are, are playing in games right Go now. Go for it over the oh! top. Drop it in the bucket. It's Tevin Coleman. He is a beast, especially running those deep routes. Showing off today for Pretty Boy, putting him up two scores. Oh, man. Twan takes a commanding two-score lead. And it's not even the end of the first quarter. This is going to potentially be a make or break drive here for Vin. He needs to go down and get some points. The good news is what I'm being told on stream is we are set up today where we do have a side game. And if game A does get out of hand, I'm told we should be able to pivot to game B in hopes that it would be more interesting. I, I We're not there quite yet. But I don't we think we we're going to be seeing any 77s today put on the board. The competition is too good. 14-0, pretty boy, on top. But Vinny's going to get the ball back. As you said, RG, this is a make or bake, break drive. You get a touchdown, you're feeling good about your chances. But if you get stopped once again, this could turn into a landslide. Absolutely. And remember, Vinny, he's going up against a former Tier 1 player here, pretty boy, and his prime was just no slouch at all. I mean, this was the guy, when I saw him lose to Big Gene in the 2005 Madden Challenge Regionals, Th that was kind of what got me wanting to get into competitive Madden. That's when I realized this is something I need to be a part of. So he he's a true legend in the game, especially some of the old school players like myself. See if the heat is brought once again. by pretty boy. Let's see if Vinny decides to press the it's issue. Not. Good blocking up front, oh, but that's a bad, bad throw. It's picked bad. off, and there's a lot of room. Stop, start, tackled at the 17-yard line. Vinny shaking his head. He knows that was a bad read from the start. I, if I had a guess, I think Vin expected his receiver to continue vertical. 20, 20, 20. That fade route stopped at the sidelines. Just stopped and he threw it blindly. and Now he's got himself in a huge hole right now. 14-0, pretty boy on top. Dropping back to pass, looking to the end zone. That's Julio, but good defense by Vinny to pry the ball out of Julio's hands. You need one of those tip drills to go your way if you're Vinny right now. You need to get the ball back. You cannot go down three scores to Pretty Boy. His run game, his stick work, it, that would be a wrap. Still early, plenty of time left. Getting out of the pocket, sacked for Vinny. As Smith gets in the backfield, forces some pressure. Now third and 12 as we head to the second quarter. It is 14 to nothing. This is just rough, rough spot to be in for Vin right now. If you're Twine, you may consider just hey, running wait, wait. this ball, maybe a jump ball to Julio. Hey, gun, gun, gun. Ryan yeah, stepping up, oh. lots of room, oh. diving for it. He's not going to get there. He's short of the line to gain, and it's going to be fourth and short. Here's an opportunity hey, uh -oh, Vin. for Hold Vinny door. to get a momentum Hold play. Door. Watch the dive. Does Vin got some hold order in him? There's the dive. Oh, oh, what a oh, cut by Pretty Boy. He's into the end zone. Fourth and two. Goes with the dive. And Devontae Freeman, shifty, gets into the end zone. That was great stick work from Pretty Boy. We see what it is. I just spoke with the producers. We got an update on our B game. The score is 14-3 to three right now. 
It looks like we're going to be moving to that game shortly. We're going to see if Vinny can put something together yeah. on this drive. I think that that's the move right here. Let's see if Ben can put it together on this drive right here. If for some reason he's not able to, we move over to the B game. I, I like that Who strategy. Who we got in our B game? We got... And that B game is free the Penguins and Lawrence. For those of you who were at the watch the Pittsburgh Steelers Club Series, Lawrence put on a great show against Deliverance. And we know free the Penguins. Last chance we, qualifier. Last chance qualifier. Just missed out on a spot in the Madden Bowl. That and that is redemption for both of them. Both of them feel like they were so close to being on that big stage, so close to getting a shot at winning one of those belts. That's gonna be another great one. But we're not done with this game yet. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us from DreamHack's first ever Madden tournament here from Dallas, Texas. All right, Ben, this is it. You, you got to put it together right here on offense. He's got to get off the negative one total yard. And the crazy thing is, his run game has looked good. He's had opportunities. It's just when he's dropping back the That's pass. A nice throw. It's not working out. There he goes. He's a tough throw if over you think the about it like this, if he doesn't take that sack on that first drive, if he doesn't spin. On that other one, he scores. <laughs> you never know. We could be looking at a completely different ball game. Absolutely. It could always be a couple of those plays that you can look back to throughout the game that could have made the difference. But could have won. Oh, fuck it, man. And hey, what a run there. Hey, you saw Pretty Boy. If you, if you looked at the lower right-hand corner of your screen, Pretty Boy, he nodded on that one. He knew it was a good move from Vinny. You know, Vin, probably the best gamer tag out there and fingerprintless. Dude, that, that's a tough gamer tag. Especially when, when it's true. That's tough. Uh, I remember we were playing a game with Vin one time. I think I accidentally said something. I'm like, oh, man, you, got, you guys are lucky. You know, I, my fingers are sweaty. They, they slipped. And he says, I don't even have fingers. <laughs> Into the fade route. That was Ooh, good. tough catch in traffic from Tyreek Hill. I don't know if that was a great read, Rico, but it was a re good read enough because he puts him at the 33-yard line. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. There you go, Vin. Keep it going, though. That's a big gain. He'll take it. 350 and counting in the first half. Vinny with the ball down 21-0. Mahomes in the shotgun. The Hill big. wide left. I'll run the ball. Good defense there. The thing is, if Vinny can get in the end zone here, Pretty Boy's always going to give you a couple of chances to get back. He's not going to take his foot off. He's always been a great offensive player, so he doesn't let up. This is it. If Vinny can get a touchdown here, get, get himself a defensive stop, he's back. You can see the user for Pretty Boy on Foya State Olakun, speed demon at linebacker. Play action, Mahomes. It's too late, he had circle on that corner route on the left side, just wide open, just needed to pass lead down and outside. But too late by the time Vin realized it and another sack for Tuan. Are you playing for a field goal here at all or is it touchdown or bust? No, it's touchdown or bust there. You, you need to pick up a chunk. Here we go now. It's two down territory. Third and 22. Mahomes standing on the Atlanta Falcons logo at midfield, balls up the 45 yard line. The pressure for Pretty Boy, which has been a problem all day. Get home once again. Moving around. He's taking a shot. Looking to the end zone. He's got him in the end zone. Tyreek Hill giving Vinny a touchdown to stay in this ball game. And Don't they, count him out. I'll tell you, some people call him the miracle man. Could this be another one of the Vinny Valvano miracles? Let's see. This is a big defensive stop right here for Vin. What a dot trick, huh? Wow. Tyreek Hill one on one. And it's back to a two score lead. Vinny telling the people at home, don't tune out. It ain't over yet. Sometimes Madden's good to you, sometimes it's not. Uh, I thought you were going to say, sometimes Madden's good to you, sometimes it's great to you. <laughs> and right there was great for Vinny Valvano. Now you cannot forget about Julio here. You've been getting a heavy dose of Tevin through the air and through the ground. Do not forget about Julio. Yeah, Julio was, when, for those just tuning in, this is the Pretty Boy versus Phenomenon matchup. Yesterday, Pretty Boy knocked out Vinny's little brother, Mini Mike, out of the tournament. And here these guys are in the first round of single elimination play. But if you remember that Mini Mike game, Julio was the X Factor. Juan was all over Mini Mike with Huli. He's had some success with him now. That's who Vin's going to have to take away. And he has to also watch out for this dive play that Juan keeps going to. Here's the question. If you're Vinny, 
how do you gauge managing the clock here versus giving Tuan extra time versus trying to get the ball back to give you some extra time? The, I think the key right here, Rico, the main thing you want to focus on is just making sure that Tuan doesn't get into field goal range, making sure that you get out of this half at two-possession ball game. If you can turn it into points, that's great, that's a bonus, but the top priority right now needs to be preventing Tuan from getting additional points. And, and so remember, Pretty Boy gets the ball to start the second half. So it is important to hold them off the scoreboard. I saw Mini Mike on stage before before we got into the game. He was giving Vinny some, some pointers. He knows as well as anybody here what to expect from Antoine Pretty Boy Williams. Yeah, if I'm Vin, Antoine either seems to throw downfield. He likes that swing route. It seems like it's only short route, but I, I'm, t I'm looking to send some of these linebackers, send some pressure. They're, they're going to get some pressure. They're going to also help you stop the run with this dive that Twan has been so efficient with. That one right there. And there the linebackers go. Good, Good tackle. tackle. Wow. Ben showing some stick work. That was it right there, though. He, he blitzed those linebackers. It closed the gaps up the middle, forced Juan to bounce it outside. Unfortunately for Ben, the force defender wasn't there, but he was able to make up the difference with his user. If you're Tuan, is this four down territory? Or are you punting if you don't I'm punting. get this first down? Uh, knowing Tuan, this is four down territory for him. You said it earlier, Rico. He's one of the most aggressive players on offense. That's good defense. That's and good D. accurate pass. Hey, here's your, he'll answer your question right now. Fourth and four. Go. This is how you get back in ball games the, if you're Vin Valvano. Did you see how quickly Vinny took away that swing pass he that came you were down talking about? Hard. He came down manually, lurked that. That was great defense. Are you surprised that Vinny's staying in the 3-3-5 considering how much trouble it is having stopping the run? Not, not on fourth and four, but he does need to be careful for the run if Tuan goes for this. Look at Tuan. Show a respect. He's going to punt the ball. I think that's the right play here. You've been playing really good defense. You've been giving him problems. He only has a minute 33. Problem's not here. Can the miracle man do it? Vin's going to have the ball back here with a minute. Watch Vinny on his run back. Running that play clock down. Yeah, it looks like hey, Pretty Boy's going to do the smart thing. Just kick this bad boy out of bounds. Don't need any kick returns. So with a buck, 29. Ooh, that was that was a rough punt at the 49-yard line. a bad punt, yeah. It's only, it looked like it was only a 20 or so yard punt. 23 yards to the 49-yard line. I had to do quick math in my head. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us in the Twitch chat. Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Enjoying some competitive Madden here on the first day of June. Shout out to DreamHack letting us be a part of their 25th anniversary. An amazing event that's given over $18 million in esports. Came all the way from a school cafeteria in Sweden. Wow. Smart play there. Nobody opened downfield. Finally gets out of the pocket, able to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Can you imagine that an event this big with this many of thousands of people, all these different productions going on, starting at a school cafeteria in Sweden? Man, if you got a vision and you run with it, you can make anything happen. Look at Vinny. Second and nine. He's going right, to run the ball. He's got a hole up the middle. Give him a first down at the 40. Wow, that was it. That's a yeah, weak spot. It. That's a weak spot at the this 42. Is he's, this is where he's gotten himself in trouble in these inches situations. Got to pick up this first down. You have to. Tuan looks like he's ready to blow up that inside zone, though. I'd be scared to run inside zone. Tuan looks like he's going to shoot right through that A-gap. If you're going to pass the ball, you got to get it out of your hands uh, quickly. Uh, he's taking a lot of time. Here. I admit, yeah, maybe. got to make sure you have the right play. This is a big one. This is a big play. He's out of position. Seconds. Changing up the play. Too much time, Ben. Watkins in motion from left to right. Mahomes in the shotgun. Williams on his right hip. He's going to try to throw for it here on third and inches. Has a man up the sidelines. Whoa, and Tyree Kill once again inside the red zone. That's why we are here in the booth. And that's why he's still playing. That was a great call. I did not think he had that in him. I am. I'm in awe. Bow down, Vinny. That was great. <laughs> this is amazing. And this just shows the resiliency of Vin Valvano. This is who he is. You think he's down 21 nothing? You think he's going to give up? No. 19-yard line. Are you willing to take three here Yes. if you're Vinny? Yes. He's definitely going for the touchdown. He does, this he's gonna is going to be tough. You gotta, I think you got to go with Kelsey. I here. think he's going to go touchdown. I feel touchdown or turnover. 32 seconds and counting. One timeout remaining for Vinny Valvano. Put himself in the middle of the field. 
18 yards away from cutting this back to a one score game. This was a 21 nothing ball game. Clock is ticking. It's ticking, anything. Ben. Can't force anything here. 17 seconds. 16 seconds. Up. Changing up the play. Mahomes dropping back on second and 10. Stepping up in the pocket. Look at the end zone. Got him. High pass. Good defense over the middle. Deion Jones and Desmond Trufant in on the play. I believe that's Conley. If, if, if that's Travis Kelsey, you that's might the, be you holding on to that. You got to go Kelsey here. Twan playing. You get some, one more shot at this. Twan playing some good defense, though. Staying stingy. Touchdown or bust here. Third and ten. He's got Trufant at safety and Keanu Neal on the right side. Trips to the left side. Kelsey on the right side. Will we see the tight end get involved on third and ten? Nine seconds remaining in the first half. Patty Mahomes with the shotgun. He takes the snap. In the pocket. Stepping up. Stepping up. Looking back at the end zone. Can't make the play, but I love the throw, RG, because it was where only his receiver could have come down with it. Uh, yeah, I didn't think he had anything there. He at least got Conley's hands on it again. The problem is... He's getting the ball to Conley right there in that situation. It needs to be a, at least a Sammy Watkins, a Travis Kelsey. Maybe you, when you get down to the red zone, you put Demetrius Harrison at tight end, get Kelsey in at the slot, give him a chance to make that snag and grab. Instead, Finn has to settle for three, but, but he we got ourselves turn, a ball game. He's turned it into a ball game. This is going to be a huge drive for Twan. We were we were we were all ready to look over that B game RG, but it is 21 to 10. And let's remember, Vinny's coming off of a defensive stop on Pretty Boy Williams. Who knows what can happen if he gets a stop here? It's a long game. 25000 dollars prize pool. 12-5 to the winner here at DreamHack Dallas. Big shout out once again to our sponsor, Chipotle. Big shout out to everybody tuning in in the chat. We see you guys, my guy Drag. Seem old school shame. Got her in the chat. It's Freeman, right side. Great D. Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Gun, gun, gun. Space, space. 21 to 10. Dropping back to pass. The pressure gets there. Oh, the defense for Vinny Valvano is standing up tall the last two drives. A huge, huge, I don't know about huge this play. Oh, momentum play. Boy. Looks momentum Tevin play, boys. Coleman. Tevin Coleman in the slot. He has been a nightmare for Pretty Boy Williams. Now he's going to put Coleman on the outside. Calvin Ridley's on the inside. Hasn't got Julio enough defenders Jones. over there. Dropping back to pass. Pressure's trying to get there. Looks oh! out the same. Almost picked Lucky. off. Somehow got to Julio Jones. That looks like the play that cost Bugs his shot when he should have had that pick but didn't get it. It's wow. Tough. It's a game of inches. It's a game of inches. First down at 10 now. A fortunate play right there for Tuan. Vin almost came through insanely clutch right there. Can't let that get you down, though. There's plenty of time left. Under the four-minute mark in the third quarter. I like how Tuan went from that single-back trio to the bunch tight end right there. That's a cute little audible. Looking left side. Oh, oh, the stop. Stop. oh what a play. Rico, Rico, I'm sitting here like, oh my God, Vinny, you can tell. How bad do these guys want this? It doesn't get bigger than both of these guys are looking for some respect, putting on their names. They want the new generation to know that they were great. We wide open. Got him. Just can't give that up. You got to click over to that one. That's that's a mistake for Vinny on defense. The, the thing about giving up a, a route like that is it's just such an open read. It's such easy work out there. You, you didn't even have to stand in the pocket. It's kind of like snap. It's naked throw. And those just Listen, aren't if I the can yards make the read, it's up. too easy of a read. Exactly. Exactly. You, you got to make people work. Look at Tuan pumping up the crowd. He, he's hyped, as he should be. 315 and counting in the third quarter. Get up! Back into the single back trio. Ridley coming in motion, looking to pass. Once again, pressure coming. It's picked up nicely, but a mistake by Pretty Boy. He spins out of bounds instead of picking up some more yards. Only going to get six on the play. The good news for Vin is taking that field goal before the end of the half allows him to give up a field goal in this situation, keep a two possession ball game. There we go. Yeah, Vin's got to think. Keep him out of the end zone. Second down of four. Ryan, quick snap, quick That's throw to the right cool. side. That's Calvin Ridley. He'll pick up a first down, and now you're seeing pretty boy Cannons on some tendencies, some soft coverage from Vinny. 
Yeah, Vin's going to have to mix it up a little bit. And I get having your base defense, like a, a lot of guys are just staying 3-3-5, three, three, and, you know, you're pretty much in it all game. And I understand that base defense, but I always like players that had some secondary formations that they could go to once somebody gets too keen to their tendencies. To me, those were always the best players that had a variety of different things they could run. Cross play to Freeman, look for the spin move, takes him out, but a good backup. And Rico, I got to give a big shout out to the admins here at DreamHack and the production team for putting this game on the main stage. We know there was some moving around. And big shout out, by the way, to Jay Wall and Saya for, for letting this game be on. First class players. They understood the ramifications and Vinny on this big stage. Saya, Jay Wall, tip my hat to you guys. First burrito on me. Well, actually, it's on RG because I'm a couple burritos in on Because he's got two burritos on <laughs> Now 21-10. Can Vinny's defense stand tall at the 11-yard line? Field gets tighter. Handoff right up the middle. Bounces outside. Vinny was ready for that one, bringing down Freeman for no gain. So excited to have competitive Madden here on the first day of June. We are less than two months out from the release of Madden 20. We're still got Madden 19. Oh, did he get, get it? it? Oh, he didn't get, the didn't get him down. Oh, that would have been huge. That, wow. He got the interception, came down with it, but couldn't get the feet down in the back of the end zone. You know what happens here, though, right? Touchdown? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's Madden <laughs> Anytime Madden, Madden does that to you, it's going to hurt the next play. Nonetheless. See, we'll see what they got here, Rico, because this is a big play. A touchdown would be detrimental to Vin, but if he can hold him to three, he's still very much in ball game. Got to think he's looking for Julio in the slot on the right side. It's going to be a toss play. Oh, look at the defense from Vinny. Oh, oh the oh. hit on Devontae Freeman. Oh, my God. Vinny got the goons out there. <laughs> Let's go, Vinny. Now, you got to take three if you're pretty boy, right? Yeah, if you're Twan, you're going to take your three. You're up two scores. So Vinny got the stop he needed to get. And is the thing, can Vin block the kick? It's not perfect. His hands aren't even on the controller. He just... Look at him. He's looking up. He's and watching the big see, screen. Pretty boy knows. He's letting all that clock run. He's managing the look clock. At him, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> it's just vintage Juan, man. All right, still a ball game here. It's only a two-score game with Vinny getting the ball back. Oh, shout out to Lowe, graduated today. Vinny's guy. If you're those of you who watch the video, you'll see the kid in the back in the Brady jersey. He graduated today. Absolutely. Congratulations, Vinny. One to send him the shout out. Twenty-four to ten, the score here. This is round of sixty-four. All single elimination from here on out. No more group play. It is win and you're in, lose, and you can go enjoy the rest of Dream Hack because you're not in this tournament anymore. First and ten, pressure up the middle. Down goes Mahomes. The pretty boy defense coming up big. Just been too much for Vin. He's just trying to stay strong in the pocket. The pre pressure just continues to get to him time and time again. You got to put it together here. You got to love what Pretty Boy's doing. He's sending the heat, but he's mixing up the coverages behind it. So it's taking Vinny an extra beat to get his reads to see who's the hot route and who's open. Yeah, and that's five. Good pocket presence. There's oh, nobody down there. Nowhere field. for him to go. He's blocking too many. Did he only, was that only a three route? That looked like I always saw three guys downfield on that play. Two guys downfield. And we, you talked about that and touched on it yesterday, RG. Sometimes you think the best way to handle the heat is to block everybody, but sometimes it's better to send everybody out. Yeah. That way you have those release fouls. 24-10 the score. Should be the last play of the third quarter if he gets it off. Needs a chunk here, Vin. Not gonna get it off. We're gonna go to the fourth quarter. Four's up in the chat. Four's up here at DreamHack Dallas. It's a two-score game. Vinny's on the ropes. Huge third and 24. Biggest play of the game so far for Vin. He needs to get a chunk here to keep himself in this ball game, make it a manageable fourth down. Yeah, you don't need all 24, but getting something like 10 to 15 to make it a fourth and manageable would be huge. Mahomes in the pocket. 
waiting. Right side, one on one. It's picked off. The pretty boy defense coming up big once again. Keanu Neal with the pick. He's dancing because he can feel the round of 32. His birth might be solidified. Yeah, you got to think, bearing anything tragic here, Twan should be able to just run this ball, slow the game down, milk the clock, try to get in the field goal range, make it three possessions. I mean, this is just going to be, I believe, too much for Vin to come back from. But you never know. We've seen weird things happen in Madden. Bringing down Devontae Freeman. If I'm Vin, I'm going on my coaching adjustments. We're getting strip ball on aggressive. We're getting tackling on aggressive. Try to make something happen, right? Second and three. Got to think Freeman. Oh, he's throwing it once again. And there goes the pressure. Down goes Matt Ryan. A little bit of life from Vinny Valvano. Do you start taking your timeouts here now? No. No. Just because. Here's the thing, Rico. Twan isn't playing super smart. Taking sacks right there, not running the ball as much. He hasn't milked the clock all the way down. If he's not gonna, if he's not gonna play extremely stingy, let him continue to stay in that flow. Look at the clock. Watch how fast he's gonna he's gonna snap this ball with I believe too much time left. He's not gonna milk it all the way down. In the four minute mark in the fourth quarter. Now under the four minute mark. I think he is. He's smart. This, see, 10 seconds. 10 seconds left. He's gonna drop back to pass. Matt Ryan looks left side. He has a man. The defense oh didn't get there in time. Wow, did Calvin. How did he get the feet inbounds on that play? Just slightly late on the read, and Calvin Ridley making the big catch. That could have sealed the game. And in regards to our B game with Lawrence and Free the Penguins, Free the Penguins walks away the winner, 35-17. Big win. Toss underneath. Lawrence, another guy, man. He should keep his head held up, and I can't wait to see him next year. If anyone's interacting with Lawrence in person, I don't know if I've ever met a nicer, more classy individual uh, Lawrence is just all class. Not I, really. I, I really hope to see him make some more noise last year. And he was so close to winning that Steelers Club championship. Missed that field goal. Got his field goal blocked, actually. Finds Freeman on the outside. That might be, by the way, the underrated part of this Atlanta Falcons team. Devontae Freeman, Tevin Coleman. That's a one-two punch at the running back position. The best one-two punch, I believe. This Falcons look ah. tough, man. It might be. I'm telling you. Next Madden, though, gun, gun, gun. the Patriots, James White, Sony Michelle, that's a one-two punch. That's a, it might be as good. I don't, I don't think we've ever seen the Patriots have as good of a running no, back. What about the Cleveland no, running, running back situation? Gun, gun, gun. Hmm? I think the Browns running back situation might Nick not be Chubb, bad either. Cream Hunt in eight weeks. <laughs> that's going to be pretty, that's pretty tough. Gun, gun. Also, you got Duke Johnson's the third running back on that squad. Left side. If, you're, if I'm Tuan, I'm just milking this clock all the way down. I'm running the ball, trying to get into those timeouts, settling for three. There's no point differential here. This is single elimination. All you need to do is win the ball game to advance. But, RG, as we said yesterday, this, this game right here has a nice run to the outside. Good spin move there by Pretty Boy. This, this game right here is why we love open tournaments, seeing guys like Pretty Boy, Vinny, Mini Mike, all these guys here with the names that we know from the MCS. That's the great part about open tournaments. You know, we, we love it. It gives anybody a chance to, you know, get out here and, you know, make a name for themselves and test themselves against the best. There's no world where I can go to a tournament and match up against LeBron James. Can we hurry up oh, to wow. the minute one. He's going to go, go to two minute one. But that's the beautiful thing Yeah, you thing can't about go to the gym and play one-on-one -on -one against LeBron James. But you could absolutely show up to an open tournament and maybe match up against a Skimbo, a Kiv. You know, in this case, you got Kratobin here. A lot of good players. Kratobin, Blocky. Blocky. Speaking Ice. of Blocky, is there any Bugs. chance he blocky is this field goal? That's the only shot he has. He's going for it. Oh, man. Imagine if Vin was to block this field goal and take it the it. other no, way. No He's way. going Twan's for it. going for this. I might give Fullback dive out of the strong eye. Oh, gosh. You, I, if you're strong eye, fullback dive. You got to know, know this. You got to know what's coming. You oh, have gosh. to run. Coleman at fullback. Run we saw this yesterday. This is old school. There's Coleman. He's got him. Held the door. Hold on. You don't want no it ain't over yet. And this is where your old school tendencies get you. <laughs> what? 
We need to find out what happened on that play call. Th this what is, was the purpose? This is huge. Can we see the miracle? Vince still with all three timeouts. Gets his Hodor on. Got to be careful not take a sack here. The problem, he's taking so many sacks. Yeah, he's got to be careful. He's in safety range. Back, back, back. Is anything he's but nervous. safe in he's the shot. He's got to be so nervous up there right now. First and ten. Bringing Hill in motion. Have you looked for Williams out of the backfield? Just to keep him in the block. That's a rip. Oh, he thought he had a step on it if he just waited a little longer. But being, that back, being backed up in your end zone, taking that many sacks, he's going to get happy feet. He has to let it go. And if you're Twan, now you really need to just run this ball and get out of here because you've been messing around a little too much and you've been showing some bad habits. And these are the type of habits that can come back around and hurt you late in the game. Here he goes again. <laughs> That's just Twan. Big touchdown. And, and he's right back to dancing. I, I, I don't think it, the touchdown, I, though he scored, it's obviously a good play call. I, I don't think it's necessary. I think he could have got out of here. He's running the ball, getting in those timeouts, kicking the field goal. Humble, pretty boy is not. <laughs> He's Conceded, never been that way. He's, pretty boy is not. He has a lot of charisma. And anybody, you know, everyone talks about the Madden bus. He was one of the original people on that Madden bus back in the day on ESPN. Swagging around, full of charisma, tough on the sticks. And this is what you're going to have to deal with. The way to get him to stop, stop him from dancing is you got to punch him in the mouth on the sticks. Or else this is what you're going to have to deal with. But I can tell you, you this. realize at one time, okay, with today's Madden kit, today's Madden players, Fool, Cheyenne, Chow, Houshu, T Roy, Sherm, and Pretty Boy, all together, who would be the firm now? Who? Kev. Hey, 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 hey. Is it Top Madden? Was it the original Top Madden? Top Madden was pretty firm ish. But. They were. Because the firm, it had a lot of the tough ballers, but it didn't have all of the best. Because there's the big genes you still have to worry about. The young nephews, even though Fool, having Fool and Cheyenne kind of negated Nep. We're going deep right now. The chat has no idea what we're talking about. I'm sitting about. here. I'm like, the only firm I know is the, Gr the John Grisham novel. Is that, is that what we're talking about? <laughs> talking great let law books? Let, let us stop. We're going, we're going in but, too deep. RG, what I was going to say is, uh, I, I think we talked about it yesterday. Next year, this is not the last we're going to see from the Valvano family. You're going to see Minnie Mike making some, some runs next year. Who knows? You might see Vinny in some of these tournaments. And, you know, Chow never wants to be up here on stream. But last night, Mini Mike gave Chow and I one of the greatest big game speeches ever. <laughs> Madden 20, I'm going to be back. I'm telling you, wait till you see. He, he was so pumped up, even after not getting out of his room. This of environment, this Madden tournament has put a battery in everybody here. Everybody's back. Everybody's excited. They can't wait. This has bridged the gap. It has everybody ready for Madden 20 in the competitive season coming and, up. And you can't root for a family more than the Valvano family. Some of the nicest people, positive, just great for the game of Madden. Does Twan realize he does not need to throw the ball right now? No. Nah. There's no, there's literally no need. Point differential means nothing. You advance. If you're Twan, just get out of the game. This is completely... You never know. You borderline disrespectful. Different era. He comes from the era of what do you do when you see a drowning? Yep. Throw water on him. Absolutely. Twan definitely coming from that era. Look at Vinny. Oh, Vinny! There you go, Vinny! Vinny said, I'm not laying down for anything. And, that, and that's what you got to love. And after this, they're going to shake hands, they're going to talk, and they're going to reminisce. And you know what? I, thank you for the opportunity for showing this game on stream. Yeah. Thank you for everybody in the chat for bearing with us. We knew that, uh, that it was a last-minute switch. They, some were ready to see Jay Wall and Saya, but I think this was very important. You know, give Vin a shot. Also, Tuan, two veterans who deserve the respect to c come back out here, get on the sticks, and uh, 
I know this was a special game to call uh, for myself, I could say that at least. And I'm right there with you, RG. This game, and again, I still want to tip my hat to Jay Wall and Saya, who both said once they saw that the opportunity for Vinny to be on that big stage, were like, hey, let's go, we'll play here. It's all about the bigger picture. And this is why we play. We are mad. And we might have a little rivalry brewing here. If Pretty Boy matches up with any of the brothers Valvano next year, you know, there's now going to be a little history there. Well, final play of the game. Pretty Boy into the round of 32. Why is he still throwing? This is just he used all his timeouts. Clashless. Clashless. Clashless, G. Straight clashless, G. But here's G. the thing. You like how Vinny still got that stop at the end. They kept playing all the way through uh, to look, the finals. Hey, a round of applause to both these guys. Yeah, there you go, man. Look at that. Look at that. That's what it's all about, man. <laughs>